Hello friends. Friends, in this video, we will learn how to control star delta starter from two different places. In this video, we will learn a control wiring connection very easily by which you can control your star delta starter from two different places. By using this control wiring, you can control your star delta starter also three places, four places or five places. You just need to expand your wiring by this way. So let's start and first understand which component is required for this control wiring connection. So as always, we need three contactor which is used in star delta starter. One is main contactor, delta contactor and third one is star contactor. Three contactor, one timer which we use EAPL model timer, one overload relay which connect to the main contactor, two stop push button because we need to stop from two places to start push button because we need to start from two different places. Also, we need to connect two add-on block because we our contactor has only one ANO terminal. If your contactor have one ANO and one NC terminal, then you can connect very easily. Our contactor have only one ANO terminal. So we need to connect two NC terminal for interlocking. We connect two add-on block and one on delta contactor and one on star contactor. First understand timer working okay. It is a in this timer we have two common two NC and two NO terminal and two I terminal for coil. You can see that A1 and A2. A1 and A2 is the timer coil. You can see that A1 and A2 is the timer coil. 15 you can see that 15 is a common 16 is a NC 15 and 16 is a NC and 18 you can watch here 18 is a ano okay 15 common 16 nc and 80 is a ano okay now 25 common 26 nc and 28 you can see here ano terminal okay now understand timer working because it is the most important concept okay when your timer start okay and you said 10 second in this timer okay you said 10 second okay so for 10 second your common supply comes to the NC terminal. Okay. Your timer start and you said 10 second. So for 10 second, your common supply goes to the NC terminal. Okay. It is most important concept. Okay. Now when your 10 second is completed, then common supply comes to the ANO terminal. Okay. When your timer start, if you said 10 second, for 10 second, your supply common to NC comes. After 10 second, your supply comes to the common to ANO terminal. Okay, it's the most important concept for timer working. Now, as we know for neutral connection, okay, our four, three contactor and one timer is a 220 volt operated. Okay, so we need to connect a neutral directly. Okay, so we connect a neutral to contactor coil directly and connect A1 terminal of timer neutral. So first we connect a neutral to the all of the component. We connect a neutral directly to the dekhi. you can watch MCB to contactor to timer to contactor and contactor. So we connect a neutral directly to the all of the component. Now we understand phase wiring. Now we connect a phase wire and first we give this phase wire to overload relay NC point as we always give to the overload relay NC point because if our motor takes more current then overload relay trip and if overload relay trip then that means this NC makes ANO and our full starter control wiring is stop. Okay. So first phase gives to the overload relay NC point. Now we connect one wire from overload relay NC point output side and gives to the first NC element. Okay. First NC push button. So we connect the first NC push button. Now output of this NC push button, we give second stop push button NC element because we need to connect all NC element in series. Okay. First we connect all NC element in series. If you have three NC element, four NC element, you have four stop push button. You first need to connect all push button in series because when we press push button, your starter will stop. Okay. So first connect all NC element in series. Okay. So we connect both NC element in series first. Now we connect two wire because one for this start push button and second for 
दिस स्टार्ट पुश बटन ओके सो यू नीड टू टेक स्टार्ट पुश बटन सप्लाई फ्रॉम लास्ट एनसी एलिमेंट रिमाइंड इट यू टेक स्टार्ट पुश बटन सप्लाई टू द लास्ट एनसी एलिमेंट इफ यू है थ्री फोर फाइव एनसी एलिमेंट देन यू नीड टू टेक ऑल लास्ट एनसी एलिमेंट सप्लाई एंड फर्स्ट कनेक्ट ऑल एनसी एलिमेंट इन सीरीज ओके इट्स अ मेन कॉन्सेप्ट ना वी कनेक्ट वन वायर टू दिस स्टार्ट पुश बटन ओके बिकॉज सप्लाई कम्स कंटिन्यूसली हियर बिकॉज वी कनेक्टेड टू एनसी एलिमेंट इन सीरीज ओके सो सप्लाई कम्स कंटिन्यूसली हियर एंड वी कनेक्ट सेकेंड वायर टू दिस स्टार्ट पुश बटन ओके ओके सो बोथ स्टार्ट पुश बटन सप्लाई कम्स कंटिन्यूसली फ्रॉम एनसी एलिमेंट ओके सो वी कनेक्ट बोथ स्टार्ट पुश बटन इनपुट सप्लाई नाउ वेन वी प्रेस दिस पुश बटन आर वेन वी प्रेस दिस पुश बटन आवर मेन कॉन्टेक्टर विल ऑपरेट ओके सो वी कनेक्ट बोथ पुश बटन आउटपुट साइट वन वन कनेक्टर ओके फर्स्ट कनेक्टर सेकेंड स्टार्ट पुश बटन एंड वन कनेक्टर टू द फर्स्ट स्टार्ट पुश बटन ओके वेन वी प्रेस दिस पुश बटन आवर कॉन्टेक्टर शुड ऑपरेट ओके नाउ When we press this push button, our contactor operate, and when we press this push button, our contactor should operate. So we have two wire. Okay, you can connect both wire to the contactor coil directly. So when you press this push button, your contactor will operate. When you press this push button, your contactor will operate. Or for saving some wire, you connect this push button output to the this push button output because when you press this push button, supply comes here. and we connect one wire to the contactor coil okay so by using this connection you can save some wire okay so we connect output of second start push button to the if output of first push button okay now when we press this push button or this push button our main contactor will operate okay it's a very simple concept now Now our contactor will operate manually because when we press this push button, our contactor operate manually because we not connect a holding supply yet. Okay, first operate how it works. Now we start the supply. When we press this push button, our contactor operate manually. Okay, main contactor operate manually. When we press this push button, our contactor operate manually. Now for operating permanently, we need to connect a holding supply. So we connect a holding as we connect always. Okay. first we take where to take holding connection okay so for holding wire they, you can watch here you take from last nc element must watch last nc element output side from holding connection okay if you take holding connection from here then your starter will not stop from this push button okay so for holding connection you need to take from last nc element output side or no element input side okay because supply comes continuous to this point okay so we take from and you can take supply from last nc element output or no element input side and connect to the contactor no terminal okay connect contactor no terminal and we always connect one connector to the contactor coil to any element okay when your contactor operate your holding supply comes here directly and this no makes a nc and supply comes here and your contactor will operate permanently as we done always so first we connect contactor coil a to one connector to the contactor no terminal okay after that we connect a holding connection okay it's our dual starter makes complete and our push button control wiring is completed now we need to expand dual starter to star delta starter okay so we connect one connector here and a no terminal now we can take holding supply from nc element last nc element or from no element input side so we connect one wire to this no element input side from holding connection okay so we connect one wire here and connect it to the contactor no terminal okay now it's our dual starter control wiring connection is completed Now understand how it works. After that, we implement this dual starter to star delta starter. Now we start control MCB. We can start our starter from here. You can watch. Stop from this point. You can start here. Stop this push button. Start here. Stop this push button. Start here. 
and stop this push button okay it's a simple dual starter now implement how to implement dual starter to star delta starter now first understand star delta starter working okay so when your motor starter start first main contactor and delta contactor operate okay and if you set 10 second in this timer so for 10 second your main contactor and star contactor operate and after 10 second your star contactor will stop and only main and delta contactor stop so first star contactor operate and second delta contactor operate so first operate timer okay so when your contactor operate your timer should operate okay so we connect one wire from contactor coil to timer coil okay when your contactor operate your timer should operate so we connect one connector here to contactor coil now we connect one connector from contactor coil and connect to the timer coil okay when your contactor operate your timer should operate now when your timer operate supply goes to the timer a no terminal okay timer common point okay so we connect one more connector so when your contactor operate your timer should operate and if your timer operate supply comes to the timer a no terminal which is 15 number point okay so we connect one connector to the timer 15 number common point okay now it's a very simple working of timer and star delta starter okay first understand timer wiring when your timer operate and supply comes to the common and if you set 10 second so for 10 second your nc common common supply comes to the nc terminal okay and in star delta starter first your main contactor operate so we take one wire from timer NC to the star contactor operate. Okay. And after 10 second completed in timer, your common supply comes to the ANO terminal. So from ANO terminal, we operate delta contactor. Okay. From, from NC, NC terminal, we operate star contactor. And from delta con terminal, we operate delta contactor. Okay. So first we connect NC terminal wire to operate the star contactor because when your starter operate then your star contactor should operate. So we connect one wire from starter NC terminal and for operating star contactor okay we use delta contactor NC terminal for interlocking okay. Your star contactor only operate when your, devel your delta contactor is in a stop position. It is a very important for interlocking connection okay your star contactor will operate only when your delta contactor is in stop position so we connect one connector to the add on block nc terminal and we'll connect to the star contactor coil so we connect here okay now your star contactor only operate when your delta contactor is in stop position because we need because we connect from nc of delta contactor for interlocking connection now for operating delta contactor we use timer in o terminal because when timer timing completed then common supply comes this n o point okay from n o point we need to operate delta contactor but before operating delta contactor we use star contactor and nc terminal because your delta contactor operate only when your star contactor is in a stop position okay so we connect a star contactor nc terminal for interlocking and connection make sure full tight okay now we connect one connector to star contactor nc terminal and operate delta contactor okay it's very simple wiring you just need to first learn working of a star delta starter if you learn working of a star delta starter you can connect very easily any of the star delta starter okay so connection wiring is completed now we understand how it works now we start control mcb when we press push button start push button our main and star contactor operate and after completing time our delta contactor operate and start stop okay first start main and star operate after timing complete delta operate okay stop you can start from this push button main star operate delta operate okay stop main star operate delta operate stop you can start from here and stop from here you can start here and you can stop here so you can start stop any of the point by using this control wiring hope you understand the concept of using star delta starter from two places if you like video please place like button and if you have any query please ask in comments box for net for today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching